Hello Cancer, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here. This is your general and love reading for the month of December of 2020. I do hope that you are all doing well and um, you're keeping safe and healthy and well, I don't know about happy. There is a lot going on in the world so I know that the month of December will be a very special month so let's see I will be doing uh, uh, love readings for the month of December and a lot of you may have noticed that I am not doing mid-month readings as I upload randomly I do daily readings randomly and when I feel called to I do uh, extra readings so just asking spirit general and in love what's going on for the sign of cancer sun moon rising venus for the divine feminine mars for the divine masculine and if you are familiar with your north node where that is in your birth chart which sign it's facing you can also watch that because that's all about fate and where we're heading to so cancer for cancer please spirit in the month of december Thank you. We have Treasure Island, so it's looking good. It's looking pretty good, dear Cancer, and it is a number nine. I suppose number nine could be significant for you in your life in the month of December. Treasure Island says that you have been uh, moving towards something that is very, very valuable to you. Tre Treasure Island also means that... Um, there's a sense of a manifestation of dreams. Um, that's where you're heading to. It's a slow process. As you can see, we've got the tortoise here. The tortoise knows that slow and steady wins the race. Okay, and there's a lot of emotion. I see a lot of water here. Uh, so this could be a slow movement towards a happy home, a um, emotionally satisfying um, and secure feeling uh, connection this could also be you feeling safe amongst family treasure island promises a lot this could also be a place that you have been wanting to visit for a long time maybe because of the lockdown it was not positive but i do feel that at some point this door will open for you Okay, so it does speak of a lot of value and a lot of, a lot of happiness as you're feeling very safe and secure where you are moving towards. So that could be in the near future as well. So Cancer, we know that December is the last month of 2020. Um, we're coming to the end of the difficulties. What's going on, please, Spirit, generally speaking, for the sign of Cancer? Thank you. Let's have a go. Let's have a go and see what spirit is advising for you, dear Cancer, December of 2020. So in the now, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is one step before that getting to that treasure island. Financially, you're feeling okay. Um, there is something missing, though. Um... Nine of Pentacles is my Virgo card, so I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo. At the foundation is the Ace of Swords. I should have taken a uh, challenge card, but I said at the foundation, that's where it's got to go. So we've got the Ace of Swords at the foundation, which is the root of the issue. Let's take your challenge. We have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a Virgo Piscean energy. High Priestess... The challenge is to trust, trust in the divine plan, okay? Challenge is also maybe to open up and communicate. We do have the Ace of Swords here at the foundation. I'm not reading reversals, so this could speak of because the sword is facing down. Maybe you have not been communicating openly. You've been holding your cards close to your chest. The challenge is that spiritually you are aligning, you understand, but... This could also mean that, that you need to communicate, open up and speak truthfully, as there has been 
a lot to do with uh, hidden things. What is Pisces? What is the High Priestess? She's very spiritual, but this is also trusting in the divine plan. But this can also speak of um, someone's hiding some details and what is opposite to Pisces is Virgo. We've got double Virgo messages here, which is all about looking at the details. So someone may be doing their research here. It could be you, dear Cancer. Let's see. Recent past, we've got the Six of Wands, which uh, Six of Wands can be a card of ego, but, you know, this card I see as Leo. It's very um, expansive. Leo is... Leo is very generous. It's also having created something that makes you, I mean, it puts you on the map. This could be through career or this could also say that where business is concerned, you're someone who is much more open, well-known, respected. This could be your persona or, dear Cancer, this could also speak of, um, you know, where work is concerned, there's a lot of clarity nothing being hidden, everything is on the table, but where your emotional self is concerned, um, that's where we could have uh, secrets. So you could be posing as showing uh, yourself to the world that you are standing happily as an individual, but I feel that you're holding that um, hidden towards others, towards people that are connected to you, etc., etc. So let's see what's on your mind. We've got the Two of Swords, which means you're at some point of needing to make a decision. You're trying to make a decision, a choice. Um, and again, I'm going to say, you, yes, you need to trust your intuition because if you've been more practical and not um, trusting your higher self, it's a time that you're going to have to do that. You're forced to do that. With the Two of Swords on your mind, you are blindfolded. Remember the mind, the logic is the left brain, the right brain is the higher mind. So try and balance those two things out and come to your conclusion in whatever you need to make a decision on. What's in the um, near future? We have the Knight of Pentacles, another Virgo card. Knight of Pentacles is Earth nevertheless. Knight of Pentacles is carrying that Tenth Pentacle. So, um, very, very slow movement. We know very similar to the uh, Tortoise here. Someone is very slowly moving towards um, something that they want and that they've been working hard to build on for the future. The Knight of Pentacles is someone that um, they look at the details, they don't, uh, do jerk um, movements, you know, uh, quirky and unexpected. This is a planning um, energy. This is something long-term that has been planned. Now, if this is someone, dear Cancer, that you are dealing with, they're coming in very slowly. Okay, they're coming in with the goods very slowly. Now, this is a side of you aside to you and you've got strong Virgo in your chart, then um, you're very practical, you're very um, much about the details and you're slowly and steadily moving towards what makes you feel secure and happy. Let's take the position of you. And we have the Ten of Cups. I feel that that's what you're trying to work towards. Ten of Cups. We know that Ten of Cups is a very happy card. It's like getting to the pinnacle of happiness here. Um, but this can also speak of a chapter, a cycle that has come to an end, or this is what you've been working towards. Happy home, happy family, feeling safe and secure. This could be your wish fulfillment. Let's see what's surrounding you. What's in your environment? And we have the devil. Wow. And obviously this uh, is Capricorn and this is your house of others, your partnership house, your marriage, your house of marriage. Remember that the devil poses limitations. It's all about hard work, growing up, um, maturing, learning the lessons. But this could also speak of anything to do with a, uh, a boss, someone who is above you. 
Okay, this is a uh, work situation here. The devil does speak of getting to the top, but it is, my God, very, very demanding. Okay, and remember that Capricorn is also Earth, so it's very, uh, I don't want to say strategic, it's more about, you know, it's more about producing slowly, one step at a time, climbing that ladder to get to this. Now, this can mean karma that's been limiting you, limiting you from a connection. Timing, that's what it's all about. For those of you that are trying to climb the ladder to bring in, I mean, because you've been successful here, I can see that, with the six of wands here. There is a sense of being successful, being acknowledged for your work. And this could speak of popularity as well. If this is a... a um, a romantic connection. You may be dealing with someone that has many, many choices. Now, the devil is also a very passionate connection, okay, very sexual. Let's see what your hopes and fears are. And we've got the Nine of Swords, and that is a great, a very grim fear. It's a very hard energy, Nine of Swords. Um, a lot of stress, a lot of fear as well, a fear of the unknown, fear of the limitations. I'm going to show you the cards, but there's too many cards. Um, we've got the Five of Pentacles. We have the Emperor, which is very much like the Devil. We have the Nine of Wands. And we have the Six of Cups. Um, I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them because they do speak to the story as I understand it. Because the emperor is here, that's the only reason why. Because the devil is very similar to the emperor, even though the emperor is Aries energy. But it does speak of getting, you know, climbing to that throne, the uh, the throne of the emperor, being the one in charge. Now, this could be a narcissistic um, connection. This could be a difficult boss. This could be a father. Why do I feel that this is someone that you're dealing with, dear Cancer? Because the devil is in the environment. It's around you. So you're in the energy of the devil. Now, this could be someone that you work with, yes. Could be someone that, and I'm going to say, I mean, the emperor is Aries, Taurus energy for me. But the emperor is also very Saturnian as he's grown. He's gone through the lessons. He's gone through the lessons now where emotions are concerned. He's very temperamental, doesn't show the emotional openness, okay, that cancer wants, that you want. But the emperor is also someone that's got a lot on their plate, okay. Now, if this is a romantic connection where there is a, a very strong karmic connection, Five of Pentacles says that, There's been an imbalance where your emotional connection is concerned, maybe even your financial connection. Maybe where values are concerned, you were not on the same page. Um, remember that the emperor, because he poses restrictions, it's like throwing uh, curveballs to you all the time. You're having to jump through a hoop and to prove your worthiness, whether this is romantic, family, Whatever this is, I do feel that there's been a sense of, you know, remember that the Five of Pentacles is, there's a sense of lack. There's no connection there. And this could also say that you're both coming from different idealism, different beliefs, um, different understanding of how the world works, how life works. And it's been burdensome. It's hard. Nine of, uh, uh, nine of Wands. I was going to say swords, then I was going to say pentacles. Nine of wands means someone has brought you to the, the brink of breaking. I feel as though you are pushed to the point of being broken. Um, but nine of wands says that it's, it's the nine. And nine says that someone's put up their wall. There's no, maybe there hasn't been communication. Okay, um, it's been a great challenge, no doubt. 
we've got the Six of Cups here, which is the Soulmate card, but this can also speak of children. So, of course, it's going to be a different story for all of you. Let's take more cards and see where this is heading. What's at the bottom of the deck? We've got the Fool, which is a brand new cycle. And the Fool we know is Aries. Now, Mars has turned direct, which says it's all systems go. Um, but there's still a lot of challenges that Mars will be facing as he will be finishing up with that connection to uh, Capricorn and that is affecting you of course in your house of partnership your house of others so general and love please spirit show me for cancer in the month of December we have message this is the knight of pentacles there's a good message coming through there's a positive message this is mercury the god the messenger of the gods right here and yes he was a god obviously here he is, bringing in a message. It's going to take a little bit of time, though, as we've got the Treasure Island and we've got the Tortoise moving very slowly. I'm going to say that the energy is going to pick up because Mercury is very fast, moving forward very fast. Treasure Island is a long journey, a safe journey. I feel that the energies will pick up as soon as a message comes through. This will be through social media, could be a phone call. I believe that it's mainly something written. We have gifts. And this is the Three of Pentacles. So there is a, a message of happiness coming through. This is a gift that's coming through, which will start the ball rolling where expansion and growth is concerned. Remember that the Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles uh, speaks of Gemini to me. Why? Because... Gemini is all about collaboration. Gemini rules um, the messenger of the gods as well as Virgo. So I feel that there is a message of someone wanting to collaborate now, someone ready to um, be part of the team. Um, and I feel that the restrictions will slowly start to fall. Let's see what else we've got. And we've got money, six of cups again, denaro. This is like the ace of pentacles, which is being carried by this knight of pentacles, which you've got the knight of pentacles twice. And six of cups again, this is a soulmate connection. Um, this could be really good news. What I, what I just noticed in the background is the scales. So you are coming into balance and harmony this is a six, right? Six of cups, six of cups right there. You're coming into balance and harmony where your values are concerned, your relationships, a connection, a very uh, strong connection. But also, you know, the six of cups many times does speak of children. So if there has been a difficult situation, a situation of fear that you've been working through, and that is in concern to a family matter. Remember, we've got the Ten of Cups here, which does speak of family. It speaks of children as well. I do feel that um, there's going to be a new cycle with that full card. What's at the bottom here? We've got the Ten of Swords, which we've got the man with the uniform, the officer. So this could be someone who's very intellectual, someone who's very cold. Um, this could also be a legal representative, but You know, the um, the man in the uniform, this could be someone that, and very, could be very similar to, again, the emperor, someone who does not show emotion, okay? And Ten of Swords speaks of darkness. It speaks of um, an ending, right? An ending. This could be a an emotional ending that you've gone through. Remember, it's a 10. We've got another 10 here. It could be an emotional ending or a physical ending. Let's see what else we've got. Let's get more information. So, please, Spirit. This could also be a... Um, this could also be a legal situation that you've been going through. I feel that the news that's going to come through is... I mean, the Ten of Swords is the darkest before the dawn. 
you may receive good news through um, through uh, well through communication that there's a, you know light at the end of the tunnel if you're dealing with a legal situation okay and legal situation could also be very karmic remember we've got the devil and we've got the emperor here let's see what fell through and we've got the uh, tree um, and the tree is a family it's uh, having grown roots it's it's a card of spirituality it's a card of health as well and I'm gonna say if there have been health issues here dear cancer um, and you've been fearing the worst I feel that it's gonna be fine it's gonna be just fine let's see what else we've got we've got the garden and the garden is the Garden of Eden and this is a number 20 which is also judgment and judgment is a um, resurrection of sorts this is being social coming out being open remember what I said about the high priestess and keeping your emotions um, intact this is a very this is like Venus in a Libra it's an absolutely beautiful card and it does tie in very well with the Six of Wands, which can mean success or bringing things to the world, being open, um, sharing, sharing amongst others, being close to family. Let's see what else we've got. Remember that the 20 breaks down to the 2, and 2 means balance again. And we've got the lilies. And the lilies, uh, this is very much the Divine Feminine. Okay, this is a pure, uh, there is a, a connotation of sexual connection here, but this also comes together with purity, um, truth, very motherly as well. So interesting, beautiful cards in the Lenormand. And we've got a transition, we've got the stalks here. So this could mean that, I want to say for those of you that have been in a very challenging connection, dealing with someone that was quite narcissistic, um, someone who brought you to your knees, someone that was very egotistical. I do believe that um, you're going to, you know, you're ending that cycle and you could be moving away from a home as well and becoming the emperor of your own life or... Um, connecting with someone connecting with someone that has been through their own issues someone who's gone through their own lessons and with the six of cups right on top of the emperor someone who could already be a father because we've got the birds here like the storks they're sitting on a nest they're transitioning and building their nest elsewhere so let's see what the astrology has for you so please spirit guides and angels the sign of cancer in the month of December what's going on what's going on for cancer in the month of December what I notice in this card is that butterfly there which speaks of transformation and change we have Grand Cross and Provoker and this is a 47 which equals an 11 so 11 we know is very karmic it's an opening it's something new coming through 11 is also justice uh, balance but the Grand Cross in um, in astrology is very very pressurized energy where something's got to give something has to change so there is provocation here the I feel that the provocation is to move to end a cycle that needs to end at the end of 2020 yes we've got the four here Aries energy we've got the strength card here which can speak of a trust but also the courage to start a new cycle in your life um, to take a leap of faith into what makes you happy what's beneath that and we've got the chariot there it is there is your card which is you being put in the uh, driver's seat you are up are you up for the challenge 
You need to believe in your higher self, in your abilities. And Cancer, yes, this is the Leo card. We've got Aries, we've got Leo. So we've got fixed energies, we've got cardinal energies as well. What's beneath the chariot? And we've got the Page of Cups, which can mean a small offer. It can also be a child. Let's take more cards and see what's going on here. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow, Cancer. I'm going to put these back in the deck. But what I see here is we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, which is Virgo Capricorn. We've got Queen of Swords. And this is Air. Remember, we had the King of Swords there with that Ten of Swords. Uh, very similar to the King of Swords. Nevertheless, it does remind me of the King of Swords, the Aquarian energy. We've got the Queen of Swords, Libra. We've got the Queen of Wands, my Leo card, nevertheless. And we've got Judgment here, which is Archangel Michael. I'm going to put these cards back in as I need to, um, to shuffle. So we've got... Uh, many, many choices here. We've got a Queen of Wands, a Queen of Swords, and a Queen of Pentacles. And I've uh, spoken a lot about the Virgo energy. We've got Virgo Capricorn here. Um, some of you... Some of you may be, and I don't know why, but I feel that those three cards, those three queens, because three queens speak of gossip. Three queens can also be uh, family. It can also be friends, yes, because we've got the card of the tree, which is family. And I feel that uh, these are people that you haven't been sharing sharing your information with. Now, of course, that could be three different people in your life. For those of you that are single, this could be choices. You've got lots of choices. We've got the Two of Swords here. Now, Queen of Swords could be a past partner. Actually, um, could be your energy as the, the man in the uniform with the Ten of Swords would be the person that you could be leaving behind okay so queen of wands queen of wands and the queen of pentacles i don't know why but i'm putting them together and i feel that because uh, remember that the emperor is also quite fiery we've also got the knight of pentacles which is earth so that could be two different sides queen of pentacles and queen of wands could be two different sides to the same person okay what I need here is the empress what I need here is the empress to show me typically um, your other half right if this is a romantic connection if this is a work connection still let's say the um, if this is a partnership with work the queen the empress would be matched with the emperor um, those three queens could also be people that are beneath, they could be uh, beneath you, where there is a lot of competition for that very important position, okay? So let's have a look at the Nine of Pentacles. In the now position, we have the Nine of Cups. Let's see, with the challenge position here in the High Priestess, we have the Death card, which is Scorpio. Now, Scorpio is also very hidden. Scorpio is also money coming through from others, but it's also a transformation where um, the challenge is to go through this death process, um, drop, drop those old outworn beliefs, um, drop... The idea of you not being, um, I don't know why, but I feel I need to tell you that you have been doubting your instinct. And I feel that with the Scorpio energy here, that's transforming, that's changing. 
Now, the death card, Scorpio, also means uh, money coming through other sources, but it's also a very sexual energy as well. Remember that Scorpio rules the sexual organs. I uh, do see a connect here with the Scorpio and the Capricorn energy. Now, the High Priestess can also be a third person in a connection where there's a very strong sexual connection. For those of you that um, have connected with a soulmate before you have closed the door of a past connection. Let's see what this Ace of Swords is. And we've got the Six of Pentacles, and this can speak of someone looking at legalities, uh, needing more balance in their life. This could also mean um, that you're holding from your people, your tribe, holding the fact that you are at an imbalance where your emotional uh, life is concerned here. And maybe even you've given so much to the point where, you know, the last straw, you've been through the last straw where you've, you've given, you've sacrificed so much and the other person was only taking and taking and taking. So I feel that, I don't know, I feel like, and this is very similar message uh, for Scorpio, there were similarities. So maybe this is a wish fulfillment for you to be single, to end a karmic chapter in your life that was not healthy for you. Let's look at the Six of Wands because, as I said, it's a card of ego as well. So if you've been dealing with someone that was quite egotistical, very, um, it was very much about them, okay? Um, and just because someone is popular, someone is... Um, Successful doesn't mean that they should come with an ego that's bigger than themselves. So I feel that that makes you uncomfortable, dear Cancer. Yes, you feel you need to have that emotional security, financial security as well, but you also need to be able to open your heart and not have that taken advantage of. Let's have a look at that Six of Wands. We've got the Ten of Wands, which is a heavy burden. Yes, a heavy burden. That's probably why you're in two minds with that Two of Swords. Why do we have that Two of Swords? And we've got the Magician. Magician is a new beginning. We've got the Fool, which is a, a zero, and then we've got the Magician here. This is all about communicating truthfully, openly, to, um, to the people involved here. Remember that the Magician is clarity. It's communication. It's also having the tools, having um, that connection with a spirit, which gives you the strength to either speak your truth or to either make a decision to speak the truth or even, and I'm going to say, if you haven't been um, verbal about uh, being put in the, in the place to have to make a decision, Maybe you've been keeping this from your family, as I said. I feel that uh, you're gathering up the strength and you're going to decide to do that. I feel that you're coming out of that and you're realizing what is uh, for you and what your calling is. So what you feel called to do, to manifest, and especially with the full here, which is the general energy. Let's take one more card here. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So you're looking at uh, her connecting um, to someone that's going to be there for you, someone that's not going to be um, egotistical. Remember that the Queen of Pentacles, she has got, as you can see here, we've got the uh, male peacock, which the male peacock, does speak of pride, but uh, earth, usually earth signs are very grounded. So there is a beauty um, in this uh, male peacock, which this Queen of Pentacles, um, she um, values. So either this is someone that um, you will be connecting to, or this is a side to you 
as she, we know that the Queen of Pentacles, she's the minor arcana of the high of the Empress, sorry, of the Empress. And she's someone very dependable, someone very good with her money, someone who is very nurturing as a mother would be. So let's have a look at that fool. Let's see what that fool is. And we've got the Eight of Cups. So yes, taking a risk and leaving leaving behind what, did em what didn't fill you emotionally, what did not fulfill all your cups. You're leaving it in the past, and this has been a very uh, maturing process, Cancer. I would say the whole of the year of 2020. Let's have a look at the Knight of Pentacles, as this is in the near future. And we've got the Empress, everyone. Sounds like we're on track. There's the Empress. There she is. Taurus, Libran energy. So this is Mother Gaia giving you what you deserve to receive. This is um, abundance. This is a lot of love. This is nurturing, providing and everything that has to do with motherhood and motherhood is uh, what makes cancer feel secure remember that you are ruled by the moon and the moon is uh, sorry the fourth house your house is the fourth house which is the mother so let's have a look at what this ten of cups is all about and i'm sorry about the background noise we've got the page of pentacles which could be a child so we've got the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Empress. There are children here, no doubt. But this is also you studying, studying this, wanting, I feel that you both, you both want the same thing. Check this out. Even though the Queen of Pentacles is someone um, where stability, um, um, being half the half of the home is concerned I feel that your partner is there already you are showing up as the page okay maybe even you're the page you're the knight and there is a difference for some of you there is a maturity in the divine feminine now every, for everyone it's going to be different let's have a look what is this devil card and we've got the seven of wands seven of wands is someone is continuing to fight against the odds okay uh, again even though things are looking bleak someone has is moving towards what they desire and even though it's been very limiting um, we know that Saturn brings the rewards gives the rewards as it leaves a sign now in December Saturn will be leaving your house of partnership, which is saying the gifts come through. Let's take one more card. And we've got the Hanging Man. And the Hanging Man we know is also a cycle that is ending. It's also a dark house, but it speaks of unconditional love. Um, as a cycle, a major cycle that you've been nurturing, learning through and growing through is coming to an end. Now this could also say that it's saying just a release, a surrender, and just go with the flow. Go with the flow as things are uh, formulating, I feel. We've got major, strong major arcana cards here, dear Cancer. It is something that is meant for you, okay? So just surrender, let go, and see what happens. Uh, I want to take... A card on the Eight of Cups. Where are you heading towards? And we've got the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is you're heading towards a very uh, strong connection. Remember, this is um, the light, the fire, uh, the wand of creation. You are heading towards a very creative time. Uh, Ace of Wands is also a very sexual indicative card so we've got a very strong passionate connection here not only is it a passionate connection remember that the ace of wands is missing from that nine here which ends this burdensome cycle 
not only is it a passionate connection it's also an emotional connection now remember that with tens we end cycles yes it is going to be a huge ending which is going to put you in the position of the emperor um, or you're manifesting this emperor if you are the empress so let's see what's at the bottom of the deck we've got the two of wands and the two of wands is obviously a decision that's being made we could see the light the news all those birds coming through from the sunlight the uh, spirit is showing you the path that you need to take here and yes two of uh, wands many times is uh, also someone that could be at a distance to you it's the Sagittarian energy the world is your oyster it says here and the door opens okay now if you are dealing with someone that is at a distance to your physical distance remember that it's going to be challenging until the end of the year uh, until the lockdown ends um, and this a new cycle of a new year begins where the energy which will uh, will be much lighter um, you won't be able to physically move but I do see with the stalks here that there is a transition that will be happening for you and it's asking for patience yes Leo the energy of Leo is here and it is asking for patience now through the cartomanzi I see beautiful energies it's worth the wait remember that we've got the denaro here the denaro which is like the ace of pentacles the queen of pentacles holds that ace of pentacles uh, which is saying that it's something of value that you've been hoping for you've gone through the challenges all year and you have been provoked into maybe moving into legalities whatever the shake-up is with this provoking energy from spirit remember it's an 11 it was an eye-opener for you but you've been faithful and true to what you've been hoping to manifest and here is the tortoise the treasure island where and this could also be a place in the world that is your treasure island that's where you want to move to that's where your heart calls you to transition to but there's going to be news that will um, bring in the change for you very good news coming through and even though sometimes I'm going to say for some of you if it is uh, provoking you to uh, start the ball rolling well that will get you to your treasure island if you know what I mean okay um, yeah just looking over your reading I feel that that's what your message is uh, dear cancer that's the message for you and some of you um, this is like a brand new beginning like a, a can I call it a restart I call it a restart because you've got the uh, energy of Pisces here as I said it, this could be unconditional love unconditional love but there was lack of a lack of clarity maybe someone was not uh, understanding the connection to this spiritual bond and I feel here that if you've been trying to manifest this Emperor they're here for you they're here for you it hasn't been easy for them and remember even where a uh, career is concerned the Emperor is someone who gives the orders he's someone that has received the highest position of all and you've got very very positive cards all around so it's looking as though your challenges are coming to an end you're reaching your desired outcome okay and that's what I uh, will leave it at but what I'm going to give you now is some personalized uh, messages from my handwritten cards to see whether these messages resonate for you or not okay remember these are general readings these could be thoughts these could be um, communication that's been had already or they, they these could be messages that are coming through as you do have the messenger 
slowly and steadily bringing you the news. Maybe the message has been stopped or lost. With We have been through a Mercury retrograde recently. This could be mess, a message that was lost, um, not communicated uh, because of Mercury retrograde, Mars retrograde. It looks as though you may be coming into the understanding that maybe the message was sent, but it wasn't the right time for you to receive it. So let's see. We come from two very different worlds, but we can overcome this with our love. And that's the Seven of Wands. Maybe this is saying that, because you've got it here, maybe this is saying that someone did not give up on this connection. They, um, even though, you know, they had a lot on their plate, this was against the odds. It looks like someone is willing to do the work, to collaborate, to work towards this. Wealth is not important to me. Wealth for me is connecting to my other half on a spiritual and emotional level. Nothing else matters. This is the Five of Pentacles. One more card for Cancer, please, Spirit. My wish is for us to be together forever. And that's a three, three of cups. This could mean a reconciliation. Doesn't have to be only love, everyone. Could be a friendship, could be a work uh, partnership. And we've got a 15 here, which is the devil. So what I feel here, obviously, and uh, I shouldn't really because a lot of you already know what the cards mean. But what I need to point out is that some of you could be, yes, um, dropping a narcissistic connection as where you've sacrificed a lot um, and moving on to something new as you've got lots of choices this could also be a soulmate that's been trying to come into your life um, and if you make the space for it they may show up if this is a new connection for others of you this could be a very familiar connection or you this could be a new connection which feels very familiar to you and that's what could be happening for you as well, because we've got the Six of Cups here, the Soulmate Connection. Uh, many, many messages here, but this is a general reading, remember. Do take what resonates and leave what does not. And I will leave you uh, with that, dear Cancer. I want to send you much love, much light, wishing you well for the month of December. Look out for the love readings coming through very soon. Much love. Talk to you soon.